Ashley from Disability Action Center is our announcer. Sometimes, caring for our own mental health can be overwhelming. However, we at Disability Action Center Northwest have put together the basics for a mental health toolkit. By creating your own personalized toolkit, you can bypass barriers and be in control of your own care. A red toolbox drops into a construction scene with lots of bare wooden trusses. The box opens and the title, Episode 4, Sensory Toolbox, pops out of the box. Let's create a sensory toolbox that you can take anywhere. You can use this toolbox anytime your mental health may not be in the best of places. Inside the toolbox, you can have stuff that will help you feel better. Not mood altering, but small things that can help you feel grounded and comforted. Two hands open a beautiful wooden chest. One hand reaches in and pulls out an old photograph. By connecting to our five senses, we can practice self-care, mindfulness, and help ourselves move out of a stressful situation. Find a small container. It can be a Ziploc bag or a small box, something easy to toss in your bag when you go. A Tupperware container is being placed in a backpack. Or keep it in your car, desk, or wherever you might need it. You can even make more than one. A small wooden box is being placed in the glove box of a car. Let's start with our visual senses. Tuck in a few favorite photos or gratitude cards. A young man chooses an old photo from a selection of items on a table, including smooth stones and gratitude cards. He puts the photo in a small box. Find short phrases or sayings that are meaningful to you. He examines and chooses from the gratitude cards. Think about images that help you feel thankful and can shift your mood away from yourself. Next, hearing. Keep a set of headphones with you. Find a favorite song that you can play to help you feel better. A young man gets out his earbuds from his box and begins to listen to music from his phone. You can try a little bell or chime to focus on as well. A young woman listens to a bell tinkling, then places it in a fabric bag. You can even close your eyes and identify the sounds around you, whether you are inside or outside. A young woman is sitting in a park with her eyes closed, listening to a fountain. Now for the sense of touch. There are lots of items that you may like the feel of. A round, smooth stone is rolled from finger to finger. A string of mala beads can help you focus and meditate. To use, you repeat a mantra or any word or phrase that has meaning for you and say it once for each bead. You can work through the beads quickly or slowly under your breath. A young woman is sitting on a couch. She pulls mala beads from her toolbox and begins to count through the beads. Or try a smooth stone or buckeye. The smooth surface makes it a pleasing thing to hold. A variety of smooth objects are sitting on a table. A hand reaches in and picks up a buckeye, then feels the smooth surface. Your sense of smell is very powerful. Consider a small bottle of essential oil. Aromas are a wonderful calming tool. An assortment of essential oil bottles are sitting on a table. Find your favorite scent. Lavender, mint, clove, or whatever. You can add a drop to your wrist, clothing, and spend a moment breathing, concentrating on that scent and relaxing. A young woman enjoys one of the scents and touches the bottle top to her wrist, then breathes in the scent deeply. Finally, the sense of taste. Keep a couple of hard candies in some favorite flavors. A variety of individually wrapped candies is sitting on a table. A hand comes in and picks up one of them. Sometimes, when you start to feel panicky, your stomach gets upset. You can try some ginger gum. A young man pops a piece of gum in his mouth and begins to chew. Take out your kit anytime you're feeling antsy. A box is open. Rotate between the little things in the kit. Smell the good smells. Scent is enjoyed by a young woman. Listen to a favorite song. A young man grooves to his tunes. Meditate on your beads. A young woman counts through her mala beads. It doesn't even have to be physical items you can hold in your hand. You can make a list of people to call, a young woman sitting in a park pulls a list from her box. Or activities that can be helpful, like stretching. A young woman is doing stretching exercises on a mat in the park. Getting a drink of water. A young woman in a wheelchair is sitting on the porch drinking water. Or snuggling your pet. A young woman is smooching her pup. Pull your toolbox out whenever you are feeling down or anxious and shift your energy. A young man retrieves his box from the glove box of his car and pulls out an old photo to examine. Will it make you totally anxiety free? No. But will you feel less stressed and comforted? Absolutely. It's a little care package just for you.